Ben, 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 Maria, te quiero. Boop, boop, boo! Fitz the Rude Boy Juan Agadell, and with me as always is my partner in cinematic crime, Christopher Rao. Christopher I'm, Rao. I'm trying to finish watching the film, Juan, if you'd stop talking <laughs> the way it was intended to be viewed. Oh, yeah, and how's that? On Netflix, on an iPhone. Eh, that makes sense. This week, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most nominated and controversial films of the Academy Awards, and that is Roma. I mean, I don't know why Roma was nominated for so many awards. It's basically a made-for-TV movie. Hello. Dang. I mean, that is up for debate. Not according to Steven Spielberg, who says Netflix is boof. Well, I gotta tell you, no one cares what Steven Spielberg has to say. They only really care about what the boof has to say. True. And in my opinion, there's enough room for both Netflix and Steven Spielberg. So, that being said, enjoy this week's review of Roma. Check it out. In recent years, the Mexicans have been cleaning up the Oscar for Best Director, winning four out of the last five. And I gotta say, it looks like the trend could continue with Roma. The latest from writer, director, cinematographer, editor, producer, blah, 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 Alfonso Cuaron. I'm surprised he didn't star in it, too. Roma is Cuaron's semi-autobiographical remembrance of his neighborhood in Mexico City in the early 70s, as seen through the eyes of his family's nanny, here called Cleo, played by an Academy Award-nominated Yalitza Aparicio. The film is beautifully shot and takes a lot of the conventions of the old Italian neorealism films of the 40s and early 50s. The use of non-professional actors as leads, shooting on location, highlighting working class characters, and showing mundane activities are some characteristics Cuaron implements. Chris, do you think Cuaron is onto something here? Is he starting a new movement? The Mexican neorealism? No, Juan. I think you're reading off Wikipedia right now. Plus, the movie had a budget of $15 million, which was not the case with most Italian neorealist films. But I see your point. You know what I mean, Chris. I'm talking more about the techniques and the philosophy behind the production, not the finances. Yeah, there are a lot of sequences in this movie that will stay with me because of the way they were staged and shot. I especially love the sequence when Cleo goes to confront her boyfriend while he's in the middle of martial arts training. That combined the technical, the thematic, and even some quirky humor in a way I love. I'm gonna be honest with you though. I don't think it's cool that this film is double dipping. Juan, what do you mean? It's nominated for both Best Foreign Film and Best Picture. That ain't right to me, it's gotta be one or the other. Well, I'm not the Academy and I don't make the rules. And since I love this movie, I'm happy for all of its nominations. Anyway, I really responded to the drama of the story, which easily could have been overplayed or overblown, but Quran depicts with exactly the right artfulness. It's impressive that he is able to tell a compelling story with a minimalist approach that goes against everything that is Hollywood. As the French would say, he is truly an auteur and a cinéaste. <sighs> it's cinéaste, Juan. Don't, don't start that now, Chris. With all that said, what are your final thoughts on Roma? For me, Roma is one of the most cinematic films I've seen in a long time. Beautifully shot and staged by Alfonso Coron. Roma gives grandeur to an intimate story which is full of drama, both large and small. The cast, led by non-professional Yalitza Aparicio, excuse my pronunciation, disappears into the story, and the movie never oversteps its mark, even as it deploys a decidedly arthouse aesthetic. This is easily one of my favorite films of the year. Five stars, certified, not boof. Juan, what did you think of Roma? A lot of people with small brains are gonna find this film to be boring with no action. But if you claim to be a film scholar such as ourselves, then you're going to appreciate how beautiful this film really is. The use of long takes, wide dynamic shots, and minimal cuts is done in such a poetic fashion that it truly embodies Koran's artistic integrity. This is a four and a half star film, totally not boof. And that is this week's Cinema Booth Review of Roma. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time here on Cinema Booth.